Hi everyone, I'm Lauren, I have ADHD, and this is I Know What I'm Doing. This is the channel where I indulge my urge to start new hobbies with little to no prior knowledge and the faith that I'll figure it out as I go. I'm not always safe, please don't do as I do. Today I'm cleaning up more of this 1946 Singer 6618 who I call Verna. If you want to see me clean up her cabinet first, check out those videos here. You can also start this project from the beginning with part one here. If you enjoy watching this, please subscribe, check the description for links to my coffee and Patreon accounts. New hobbies are expensive, so are good microphones and cameras, so your donations are greatly appreciated. I said last week that I would be cleaning the underside of the machine in this video. I was wrong, I'm still working on the outside, and I apologize. I also apologize for so much of this being out of frame. It's another case where I was in the zone and didn't think to, like, check positioning. But the side plate cleaned up nicely. I was considering taking apart the wheel at the back of the machine first. Uh, this part is from the bobbin winder and will obviously need to be replaced. Here I'm studying how this is actually put together so I can figure out the best way to disassemble it. I didn't clean the thumb screw from the side plate yet. Let me get that really quick while I come up with a plan of attack. I'm still not sure, so I'm going to stall more by cleaning those holes on top of the machine and the spool holder. I may as well give this whole flank a rub down while I'm here. Ick, the motor box too. I'm being very careful not to get any oil inside the motor box. These holes are oil drop points, so you can apply oil to the inner workings without taking the whole thing apart. I guess let's polish up the light too! Oh cool, this one actually let me take it off. All of the cords on these need to be replaced, but I'll get to that after she's all clean. That white part is where you inject grease into the motor. That's another thing I'll worry about much later. Oh, 
All right, okay, let's get this butt wheel off. First, the bobbin winder. I think this might have come from another machine, as it has a shiny black finish instead of a crinkle finish, but I'm not sure. Now for the wheel itself! Oh, right, you want to see this too. There's a little screw in here that keeps that knob from turning all the way. That knob disengages the needle mechanism so you can wind bobbins without running the whole machine. You have to take the screw out to take the knob off to take the wheel off. This is another situation where I need to keep track of which way things are facing and in what order as I take them off of the machine. The wheel itself is actually tough to remove because of the belt. I thought maybe I could remove the motor bracket to help, but it's not budging. Oh my goodness, that's filthy.
While I disgustedly clean the crud off this wheel, let me thank you for joining me this week. I'll see you Friday when I make a horrible mistake in cleaning the body. If you have a hobby you think I should try, drop it in the comments, along with any useful bits of advice or thoughts on the video. Love you!